Hey guys, welcome to the next video. Um, I'm going to be collecting Caradron Overlords. I've been inspired by them. I think they look brilliant. I'm really excited about these models. So um, I'm going to do a, a collecting, well, a collecting, not a guide, but a, a collecting series based on the Caradron Overlords. So, um, but I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm not. I'm, it's going to be all down to chance. So I'm starting with an admiral. As you can see here, already painted up this weekend. Got them on Saturday because I couldn't pre-order them because they were sold out. I'll show you how to paint them. This is just, um, well, this is just tabletop standard. Um, you can't see it very well. It's a bit blurry here, but the pictures will um, hopefully show them a bit better. Um, it's tabletop standard. It's not Golden Demon. So if you want to know how to paint him up, <laughs> tabletop standard, then I'm your guy. Um, but as I say, I'm going to be collecting these guys um, purely by chance. So it's based on dice rolls and that will decide what the next unit I'm going to buy and paint up is and then hopefully once I get to the path to glory limit of the four units I think you need as well as the Admiral I'll, um, I'll do a little path to glory with Liam hopefully if he's up for it um, so yes onto the battle tome beautiful as ever beautiful work um, lots of lovely artwork in it as you can see I just love it. Um, there's a lot of individuality to the uh, to the Caradron Overlords as well. So um, I mean, as well as the normal War Scroll rules and, and everything you get, you also get um, something called the Code. So um, you can also indiv individualize your your army further based on that Code. Um, so you might be able to make your Sky Vessels go quicker. Um, you can uh, still hold grudges against units, etc. So um, you can base your army on six sky ports, which are already um, part of the book. So as you can see, barracks on, um, barrack Urbaz, etc. Or you can make your own using the uh, the artifacts of power and the um, and the code. So um, what I'll do is I'll find the path to glory section, and um, here we go, path to glory. Carriage on Overlords, Warband Table. So I've got the uh, the Admiral, I'm happy with him, but now I need to know what I'm going to be collecting next. Um, so I've got my dice, my trusty dice, which um, never fail me, apart from when I'm playing Skaven. Move that over. So this is going to decide me, uh, decide for me what I'm going to be collecting next. So I've got uh, one to two, it'll be a Sky Vessel, three to four, a Sky Fairer, and five to six, a Hero. So I'll roll the dice and that will decide which table we're rolling on. So we're going to get two. So it's going to be a sky vessel. So either a one to three it will give us a Grimstock gun hauler, four to five a frigate or six to an ironclad. Now as you probably know the ironclad isn't out yet but the other two are. So if it is an ironclad it might be a bit of a delay before I get that. Uh, but the other two, um, I should have it in the next week or so and I'll be able to paint it up and hopefully do a video. It might take me some time, but I'll do it. Okay, so oh, it's a one. Um, so it's a gun hauler. So that will be my next painting guide and my next collection. Um, so as I said, I'll go into the brief video now on how I painted this guy. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have got a couple of battle videos coming out soon. Um, I'm playing Liam on... Um, Tuesday so uh, hopefully um, by uh, by um, early next week you should have another battle report up on the site um, so okay let's get down to it so um, as for the actual um, model um, I base coated it there's gonna be a lot of people screaming at me on my painting style and everything like this so just do as you will but this is this is how I paint and you know that's it um, if, if you don't like it then fine but this this is the way I paint you don't have to paint this way obviously but this is the way I do it so I don't use a Citadel spray to base my model I'll just use thin coats of Abaddon block built up until I've got a nice undercoat rather than spending 15 pounds or whatever it is on a bottle of black paint um, so I base coated him Abaddon black and then I essentially um, painted the whole model in Retributor armor, just give him the gold look. Um, then I painted his chest plate, uh, parts of his hammer you can see, um, bits of his pistol on the right there and some of the little vents, everything on his backpack and around his head, uh, just with lead belcher. And then it's a back view. 
Then I used Reclaim Flesh Shade to shade all of the Retributor armor parts. And then as I'm always going with green and cream for my schemes, I uh, painted his collar and the icon in his back in Strathy Green. Um, now I've painted the icon a bit wrong here just to let you know. So the icon also near, there's a little ring around the outside of that which I'm also going to paint green later on in the video. But if you were obviously wanting to select a colour and stuff, you could put it there and you could paint the whole model in there. Who knows? Um, but that's what I've, I've done to tie in with the rest of my army and the rest of the dwarves. Then I shaded all the lead belch parts in non oil. I highlighted all the Retributor armor with Liberator Gold. And then I painted the Scarf Hammer, as they call it, uh, haft. And the, there's little like stopcocks and valves around the model on his back and on his pistol there. And also, is I've missed the eye, but the, the eye on the, the right looks like he's got a lens. Uh, I paint all that in corn red. And then I highlight all of the metal parts, all of the Retributor armor and all of the lead belch parts with Stormhost Silver. I then go over the corn red parts with a bit of Norn Oil. And then I paint his gloves. Uh, so you can see his gloves on the, and it's holding the piston and the scarf hammer. But there's also little um, little straps just above those 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 gloves and also there's a little bit of cloth showing through on his pistol arm there so they've all been painted in Rekarf um, flesh. So then I've highlighted all the green parts with Skarsnik green. I also uh, shaded that um, those collar parts with Norm oil, just very very light watered down Norm oil. And there's like a little window on his backpack um, so I've painted that white and then I'll go with that with Gulliman blue just to give it a bit of a glow. I also used Gullum and Blue for the, the inner part of the hammer there, just to give it a bit more of a steely effect. Now I highlighted all of the red parts, so you can see I've just done the, the eye there. Um, I've highlighted all the red parts with a bit of uh, Mephiston Red. And then I've gone over those parts that I painted Rakar Flesh with a bit of Griffone Sepia. Then I painted the icon on his shoulder pad and his knee with Sycorax Bronze. And then I've highlighted his gloves with a bit of Pallid Witch Flesh. And then I've gone over his chain on his hammer that goes through the middle of the hammer there on the left. I've, I've uh, painted that with a bit of Rakar Flesh, just make it stand out a little. And uh, then as you can see on the window I've used a bit of Gulliman and Blue. Um, I do have a habit of going back to other paints and swapping back. I don't use one colour and then that's it. I'll often use a corn red and then forget a part later on and come back to corn red and do a bit more on corn red. So you know, forgive me but that's the way I paint it. It's literally as you, as you see it really. Uh, right, and then I highlighted all those bits with Sycorax Bronze with a bit of Stormhost Silver, so the, the icon on his shoulder pad and the, on the kneecap, and I've been highlighted with Stormhost Silver. And then uh, I've just gone back and done that uh, icon uh, on his backpack, just gone around the outside circle of Strap and Green. I've also uh, painted his circ a circle where you're gonna, you can put a fleet icon on his other shoulder pad there. I've, I've painted that green. I'm ready to paint a, an icon on there. I don't do the icon in this video because I've not thought of what icon I'm going to put on him yet, but eventually um, we'll have one on there. And his awesome Fallout 4 armor that he's wearing. Uh, so with the window on the back, I've gone, gone over back over with Retributor armor and highlighted it in Liberator Gold just to uh, just to tie it back in, so it's a bit neater. And then on the dials on the inside there, I've got just below the backpack bubbles or whatever they are, um, I did paint them white, but then there's little indentations on the dials which are painted red just to show the overheat area. Then I've highlighted the, the belt on his hammer in the middle. I've highlighted that with a bit of Screaming Skull. And then his eye, I've painted in Sotek Green and then highlighted that in Temple Guard Blue. Then I've painted the little dials, the little the actual dials, on the dial, uh, inside the dials, um, with lead belcher. 
And I've painted the little pipes that go up to the scarf hammer and the pistol in a band black. And then I've given the, the actual inside of the hammer where the chain is, I've given it another shade of non oil just to darken that up a bit and just make the chain stand out just a tiny bit more. Then I've highlighted his lens on his eye with a bit of Wild Rider Red. And I've painted the whole rock in Fenrisian Grey. I love painting rocks and um, apologies to the website that I got this technique off. I can't remember the website name. If I think of it, I'll put it in the description below, but they've got lots of painting tutorials which are fantastic. Um, and they have a specially uh, good one for painting rocks, making them look real, really realistic. So um, the process on this I'll, I'll go through, but um, obviously if I get find a link, I'll put it in the description below. So I've gone through the, the base and I've painted it in Fenrisian Grey. Then basically I get all of my earthly or uh, earth-like colours or shades and I just go to town on that rock and just put them all over the place. Um, it looks a bit of a mess but honestly when, when you see the results I think hopefully you'll agree that it's, it's not bad. And then I paint the base uh, which I've done in the textured earth colour with uh, a bit of Rhinox hide. And then I've shaded those uh, rocks again, but I've gone all over them with a very light uh, light shade of non-oil just to tie them all together. Then I've highlighted the textured earth with a bit of gold fag brown. And then again with a bit of tyrant skull. And then going back to the rocks, I've just done a, a light dry brushing of Fenrisian grey again on them. And you can see they're starting to look a bit more like rocks. Um, I really like this technique, I love it. And then again with the rocks, they've just got an extreme highlight in there, just a, just a tiny bit of Screaming Skull, just to make them stand out a bit more. And then I've painted the, the base edge with uh, Bad and Black. And that's it, that's the model completed. Um, like I say, I am I'm over the moon with him. I think he's, I, th I love him to bits. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call him yet, but if you've got any suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking his first name is going to be Lars. As for his last name, I've got no idea. Um, so I'm open to suggestion. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. And like I say, next one I'll be collecting the gun hauler and painting that up and deciding what we'll be getting after that. So um, hope you enjoyed and cheers. Bye.